that you must know that it was not until 1987 where the American Psychiatric Association, with, with some names such as that, but the psychiatrists, removed homosexuality as a mental disorder mm. from their records, from their encyclopedia. 1987, yeah. a disorder. And so what does that even mean if what, whatever the number is, 10, 20% of people or higher are on a gender spectrum as measured in the multiple dimensions that have have revealed, have been revealed in recent years. Uh, if you had control over the genome of your children 50 years ago, and if homosexuality has a genetic component, would you say, I don't want that. That's abnormal because you're going to go through that list of what is normal. And you can say, I don't want any abnormalities in my children. Not at all. So there's an entire ethical frontier that is yet to be touched, yet to be resolved, I should say. Certainly there are people thinking about it. Yes. Where, uh, what, what kind of child are you going to create? Well, this is the question. When you have, and this is what I wanted to get to, when you, when you have things like CRISPR and you have what could be uh, home, home legitimate... Kit. Legitimate genetic <clears throat> engineering of fetuses and, and of embryos. Legitimate, so, you mean authentic? Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah well, legitimate implies it's. Uh, yeah, it's, yeah, I mean, like they can sanctioned, do it. Sanctioned. I yes. mean, not sanctioned. But mm -hmm. the fact that that is an emerging technology and that, like all technologies, it will increase in its ability with innovation, with new versions. Where do you think this goes? Do you think it's inevitable that human beings engineer ourselves into these super creatures? that are homogenous do you think i i think we as is, has almost always been the case the science is advanced advancing faster than our morality yes or our our sensibility or appreciations of humanity you know and often the scientific advance has very important plus sides to it here's what i want to see happen if we can control the genome Let's just start with what already exists in nature, all right? We put ourselves at the top of the tree of life. 